It's Labor Day weekend. If you're sticking around, there's so much to do. Dozens of artists are convening on the district for Jazz Fest, making this big return. Something for everyone, and you don't want to miss it. Samara Joy, Samara Joy, <laughs> the Grammy New Artist for 2023 mm -hmm. is coming to Jazz Fest. We've got Arturo Farrell, who's bringing a salsa orchestra. He's going to be performing. Dave Holland. Oh, my goodness. Oren Evans. There's so many great performers that's, that's performing. I can't. I'm Kenny Garrett. It goes Terry Lynn Carrington. It's already underway and runs through Sunday. Over 50 uh, DC jazz uh, artists that are performing, which is exciting. Here's four more things. The 52 year tradition continues. Glen Echo Park's Labor Day art show. Sculpture, glass, textiles, paints. Artists who reside at Glen Echo Park, but also some special guests. Plus, it's free. Head to the West Lawn of the Capitol around 8 o'clock at night to catch the annual NSO Labor Day concert. It is free, but you got to get there early to get a good seat. It's first come, first serve. And you can find carnival, pie eating, music, and so much more at the Greenbelt Labor Day Festival. The Prince George's County Festival also runs through Monday. <laughs> The pipes are calling. The Virginia Scottish Games are back. If you've never seen the Scottish Highland dancing, it's a treat. Plus, the games are amazing. You can also see people throwing stones, heavy logs. And it's actually called a caber. It's C-A-B-E-R, caber toss. And caber's Gaelic for tree, so it is what it is. It's a tree. You pick it up and you try to flip it end over end. So on Saturday and Sunday at the Plains in Virginia. And if you're looking for more, if you're still not satisfied, we got you. Head to the NBC Washington app on the scene page. Dozens of other ideas for you to enjoy the long weekend. I'm Tommy McFly, News 4.